Hi, this is Karthik. Welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to create a web page using HTML form controls. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to create a web page using HTML form controls. We are going to use a notepad to create a web page. Now, how to open a notepad? Go to search box and type notepad, where you can find the notepad icon. Double click the icon in order to open it. HTML code starts with HTML tags. We have HTML opening tag and HTML closing tag. The HTML tag represents the root of an HTML document. The head tag provides metadata information about a web page. The title tag is used to provide the title for a web page. Most of the HTML tags comes in pair. The body tag is a container where we are going to type all our HTML codes. In order to use the HTML form controls, we must use the form tag. H1 tag is used to provide the biggest heading, where H6 tag is used to provide the smallest heading. HTML code to use the text box is input type equal to text box. The text box is used to provide single line data. The HTML code to use email is input type equal to email. It is used to validate an email ID where BR stands for break reader and it's used to create a new line. Input type equal to password which hides the user data in a form of dots. Radio buttons are used to select a single value from multiple values. The HTML code is input type equal to radio. It allows you to select a single value from multiple values. For example, here we have the option gender. User can select either male or female. If you want to select an option by default, use the code input type equal to radio and check equal to true. Checkbox allows you to select multiple options. The HTML code is input type equal to checkbox. For example, here we have three options, books, movies, and traveling. User can select one, two, or all the options together. The control dropdown is used to list multiple values, and it allows you to select a single value from the list. The HTML code is opening select tag followed by the closing select tag. In between select tags, we have opening and closing option tags. Option tags are used to list items. We can use any number of option tags. The text area allows user to enter multiple lines of data. The HTML code is text area followed by number of rows and number of columns and followed by the closing tag. For example, if you want to enter the feedback or address, we can use text area. The submit button is used to submit the user data, but we need to write a program or we should call a script. The HTML code is input type equal to submit. The reset button allows user to reset all HTML controls to the default values. The next step is to save the Word document. Go to file and click on save as. It will open the save dialog box. Click on desktop and provide a file name followed by the extension .html. Go to the option save as type and select all files and click the button save and close the notepad. Now we saved the notepad as a web page. Double click the web page in order to open it. Now we can see this web page consists of text box, email, password, radio buttons, checkbox, drop down, text area, submit and reset buttons where text box is used to enter a single line of data. The email is used to validate email address. The password is used to hide the user information. The radio button is used to select a single value from multiple values. The checkbox allows user to select multiple values. The drop down is used to select a single value from a list of values. Text area allows you to enter multiple lines of data. The submit button is used to submit the user data. The reset button is used to reset HTML controls to the default values. I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly like, share, 
comment and subscribe. See you all in the next video.